let's start with Kim. Okay, we'll, we'll ease into it. But Kim Kardashian, actually KKW Fragrance, mm-hmm. posted this old throwback picture of Kim and Kris Jenner. It's the night of Kim's prom in 1996. I mean, the massive updo, the skinny eyebrows. This is a 90s vibe. Denny, the skinny brows had me sent. Right. KKW who? 1996 Kim K. She, dare I say, is unrecognizable. But Kris Jenner looks the same. Did anybody notice that? Right. That she literally looks the same. Besides the fact that, that Chris has swapped in a new pair of veneers over the years since uh. 1996, like she looks the exact same. But Kim obviously has grown into herself uh, oh. over the years. Because what, 1996 was... Oh my gosh, almost 25 years ago, right? Long time. I mean, she's, long time. she also hasn't aged, let's be real, Kim. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's just so funny because just yesterday we were talking about like, ooh, Kylie Jenner without any makeup. We kind of live for it. And then we see this old throwback of Kim, I'm, Kim and I'm yeah. like, no, ni- the 90s were not nice to Kim, I don't think. But were they nice to anybody? Like, I feel like no. that was the look, you know? Well, they were um, nice to me. That was, the, that was the decade I was born in the 90s. <laughs> You can't say the same, Jenny. <laughs> wow. Cool, cool. Drag me. I feel so old. Well, you're you're bringing out my old prom photo, so I got to get you somewhere. To be fair, I want to be clear. 96, I was in elementary school. Okay. <laughs> I was uh, not going to okay. prom. I was not going to prom, but it's, uh, you know, Kim's no stranger to busting out these old throwback pictures. In fact, she has said that during quarantine, she's organizing all her photos and mm-hmm. she's been posting some of them too, like as early as junior high. And I love though that she's doing it, especially to promote this fragrance. She mm-hmm. knows people are going to be talking about this throwback photo. So, yeah. you know, what, what a great marketing tool right there. It got me thinking about my own prom. And so here, I'll start. This is me at my oh my. senior prom, which by the way, like I, you tell me, I feel like I look the same. I just maybe a couple pounds heavier and obviously no hair. Like I got, I rocked the buzz cut for a long time. Jenny, I have photos of you from less than a year ago on my phone and you look like a whole different person. Less you, and like the way, like you're, the way you style your hair, the way you have scruff or no scruff, like honest to God, completely changes the way you look, to be honest. Okay. Wow. I know. I'm crazy. I love it. I know. Well, I'm saying I'm just saying that you know, not a lot of people look different when they, you know, style something, you know, not normal, but right. you you do. Thank you. I I, I have way. to Good I have way. to say, I don't think there's anything embarrassing about my prom look. I we should be more embarrassed that I went with a girl. Uh <laughs> I mean, how was, like, how was prom night I'm, for you? It was so fun. I mean, and we're going to get into this, right? I, my heart kind of breaks for all those high school yeah. seniors right now who literally their the rest of their year got robbed. They got robbed of their, of their senior year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah. Like I had the most fun. And by the time prom came around, like all the work was done. It was a time yeah. to enjoy to uh, with my friends. Exactly. <laughs> the last few months before graduation. How about you? Which are the most fun. I mean, I feel so bad for those athletes, especially too, who are mm-hmm. missing out on their final senior year oh. of the state championships and all of that, like going out with a bang. And then, you know, just those last events towards that towards graduation week you have prom you have like the graduation rehearsal you have grad night ceremonies yeah and then you actually have the graduation presentation so I you know I know I see a lot of people on social media trying to make the best out of it um you know we could we could go right into that instead of bringing up my prom photos show us I showed you mine (laughs) I'll show you mine if you show you okay that's that's what you're doing tell me about this prom night so My prom was a whole lot of dress and a whole lot of hair and a whole lot of tan. Uh, Not much has changed. Although I will say like I'm not crazy about the big poofy curled hair anymore. I like to keep it a little bit more subtle. Um, But big flashy magenta poofy dress that was like a corset like tied at the top so it was tighter um and the spray the the tan denny was not a spray tan that was freaking tanning booth back then oh in the bed yes that's my biggest regret of looking back at these photos Mm -hmm. and funny story about prom really like one of the only things i can remember because i feel like it was so long ago even though it was like yesterday um i invited this guy right and then (laughs) I found a new guy, so I uninvited the I uninvited the first guy. Cassie. 
I know, I was a horrible person. Let's talk about, you know, obviously, uh, because of the quarantine, a mm-hmm. lot of folks have had to get a lot of a uh, lot more creative about prom. You know, we saw yeah. John Krasinski throw a virtual prom on some good news for all those seniors who don't get to go to their high school yeah. prom anymore. Um, he, what stories out there have the you seen? The Jonas Brothers, Billie yeah. Eilish, Come Chance on. the Rapper. I mean, he literally gave people a better prom than what they probably would have had at, at their school. <laughs> There's a lot of parents who are doing the same, right? Yeah. Um, yes, I saw this video a friend of mine had posted on Instagram. Um, she's actually my old roommate here in Los Angeles. We're really close friends. And so I know her family very well. And her little sister, Hope, it was supposed to be prom night for her. And so her dad um, dressed up with her and she mm-hmm. had her dress on. And you could see in the video, they were dancing in the living room with John Krasinski's prom um, oh. up on the TV streaming, which was so, so, so sweet. It just brought a tear to my eyes and 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 made my my heart just flutter with so much joy because i know people are trying their best especially parents right now of those high school seniors trying their best to make it special for them yeah. i know another family friend of ours, you know, like I said earlier about the athletes missing that last whole half of their season and whatnot. Um, I know parents who have like decorated their, their, their house and their lawn and their doors to like honor their, their children in a way, um, you know, this last hurrah that they really are missing out on it. So that they earned, that they deserve. And it's not even just high school graduations and proms. You, we've seen families uh, come together for people's birthdays. I feel like the birthday parade, the car parade has become viral now like if you're having a birthday in quarantine everyone's ex- yeah. expect people to drive by and say hello and happy birthday to you it's kind of a beautiful thing to see for sure I know. we're all trying you know what we're all trying our best to en- enjoy and embrace the little things right now and just get us through these crazy challenging times but it's really special to see people putting other people first and, and, and going out of their ways to make people feel special right now. Here's the last thing I'll say about that is that this is a very surreal, but also unique time. And I don't think we'll ever forget it. So kind of embrace yeah. this weirdness, you know, and make it extra special for someone. Okay. Right. Let's talk about Kim Kardashian. I posted this photo with, uh, Chris and Mm -hmm. it's a throwback as well and grandma MJ and in the caption she said fun fact my grandma has a creep IG account to see what we're all up to (laughs) and then fast forward to Miss Tina she did an Instagram live interview and she said that Beyonce has been busy cooking up a storm on Instagram two things there one where I'm not (laughs) seeing any of that on her Instagram and two we Beyonce don't cook. <laughs> no, which has fans up in arms now because does Beyonce have a fake right. Instagram account? We're still trying to crack the code on her damn Snapchat. Snapchat. What, what is Beyonce's Snapchat? We see her photos on Beyonce.com um, right. that have the Snapchat filters. We know you have a Snapchat account. <laughs> right? We've seen the filters. And also there have been rumors that several celebrities have fake social yeah. media accounts. Like I think J-Law has even said that she's been lur- she's lurked on Facebook or Instagram before there have been um, rumors that prince harry has had has a fake instagram account too i feel like grandma mj probably has like um a handle no one would recognize and it's yeah. private but then there's some people who actually have like a second fake account and it could be for multiple reasons like even my boyfriend has one and that's like where all the bloopers go right like the the photos you don't really want to put on the main feed for everyone to see but maybe just like some close friends i i could see people who have like millions of followers why they would want like an ancillary account to post whatever they want because the other the main feed is probably so curated that they want to be able to post whatever they want in the second one and then they don't have to deal with all the trolls who comment exactly. stupid things on their main feed, you know, all the, the, the naysayers and the naggers on certain things and yeah. um, whatnot. I know uh, uh, my best friend, her mom and dad actually have accounts that they, I'll notice them. And it took me a while to notice them and, and realize it's, it's that handle that you don't recognize, but then you see it looking at your stories. So yeah, I could see why people would want to have like a, a creep Instagram account per se to maybe go lurk at their ex-boyfriend or whatnot. Mm, exactly. I do not do that. I do not do that, Denny. Or comment and engage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I only have the one because I feel like the line's blurred for my Instagram, yeah. of professional and personal. It's kind of the same thing. Same, I, yeah. You know what I mean? If I was like a photographer, for example, though, I'd maybe have one for my photography and one for like all my other fun photos that I post throughout the yeah. day. But to each their own. 
No, I don't think I'm going to get that. Here's a question. Which celebrities do you think have a Finsta and which, and, and which of those do you hope like actually join Instagram for real? I know I said that there have been rumors about Prince Harry like having an Instagram account for his close family and cr- close friends and, and whatnot. Um, I, th- I, I think that Meghan Markle has to have an Instagram. She loves social media. She loves, she used to have her blog, The Tigs. It's like, not plural, The Tig. It, a- like, I just feel like she went, she went from like 100 to zero. She had to close her accounts once, you know, it was made public that she was dating Harry. And I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like she might feel disconnected. She has to, I want, she has to have an account. And then it's like, what is her username? Is it like proud mom or proud mom of one? Or like, and what does she post? Are there photos of Archie? Who knows? But then I feel like it's also so dangerous for someone you know, like Megan, who who values her privacy. Like, I don't feel like there would be pictures of Archie just because the internet is such a crazy place and people can hack and this and that and find out stuff and pose as other people and go to friend her. But who knows? But I don't know. What about Maybe you? One. Um, I would say, honestly, it's an easy answer. Like either Tina Fey or Amy Poehler. I need one of them on Instagram. I feel like they would be so funny. And plus, like I've, all these A-listers are now hopping on the bandwagon. Yeah. Like Johnny Depp just oh, started it. Say, yeah. you know, Matthew McConaughey not too long ago. There was a time when we didn't see like Natalie Portman and Nicole Kidman on Instagram. It's like, get into it, y'all. I want to see what yeah. you propose. I'm curious. Come on, Beyonce has one. And I remember when she got one, it was a huge deal. Prince Louis turns huh? two today. Uh, and I loved this because speaking of Instagram, accounts Kensington Palace posted some new mm. photos of him and it was a classic Instagram versus reality which by the way they actually used that in the caption which I love do you want to take it away and describe it so for his second birthday we have new photos of Prince Louis and it's so cute because he's got like finger paint on his hands in like rainbow colors and you know, per all of the other photos, they were taken by his mom. And what's so interesting is that fans are pointing out that there's one photo where you can see like handprints on a piece of paper, right? And then there's other ones that are super cute of like Louis posing like this and like showing it off. But if you notice really closely, the like the palm of his hand on the actual piece of paper, the colors don't necessarily match per se with what was shown off in this <laughs> pose. Yeah. My theory is that, you know, Kate probably put more paint on his hand to really get that perfect um, imprint on the yeah. paper or colors mixed. I mean, I don't know the, the little circles and how which colors mix with others, but I do know that colors mix and turn into different colors. So me too. Cause fans were kind of like in a stir about this and I'm like, yeah. you guys are forgetting he's two years old. Like, you know what I mean? And I loved that. Like, Royal Tumala conspiracy actually, theories. Right. I love that they even shared the other photo to begin with the one with it all over his face. Cause it's yeah. like, there's no way I would believe that he's just standing there. No. They were taking pictures with the perfect rainbow on his hands. Like, he's a child. Perfect. Like, the perfect two-year-old, pristine yeah. royal who doesn't get messy. Yeah, no. He he was enjoying it. He was having fun. And like I said, I think, personally, that Kate just put new paint on him to get that perfect imprint. And totally. And there's no need to um, think that this is some crazy Or think it. Yeah. Conspiracy. Yeah. Don't call the FBI. It's fine. No. But real he quick. He investigates. Can you put on hold for this one? I just love that Kensington Palace's Instagram. I mean, this is kind of a stretch, but they also had a little fun with that post too. It was kind of cool yeah, to see. Yeah, I know? know. I think they're taking. I think they're taking a cue from Meghan and Harry. And I actually, I do cool. believe that someone on. I think their new social media person actually used to be the the Sussex accounts person. Oh. So I think we're gonna see more of that looseness and fun, but yet still that royal standard because you know prince william is is right there to the throne so i need gary janetti to just take do an instagram takeover of kensington palace oh i <laughs> some memes. You, uh, mm, some memes. The instagram content that is just prime right exactly speaking of prime instagram content wow this is the instagram theme, theme i know <laughs> Uh, let's talk about ariana grande because she has her eyes set on a very valuable and iconic piece of costume 
from a very popular film. Studio A24 is auctioning off their most memorable on-screen like costumes mm -hmm. and items online, including the iconic May Queen dress that Florence Pugh wore in that horror movie, Midsummer. Mm -hmm. Well, Ariana is a fan apparently, and she posted it on her story writing, I'm crying, also I'm bidding as soon as possible, and then she <laughs> tagged Florence. And then there's this amazing back and forth. Between back and forth, two, yeah. Like unexpected BFFs. Well, um, it's so interesting because that's what you say, unexpected BFFs. I didn't know that these girls were actually pretty tight because just recently, actually, it was only a couple of weeks ago, um, Florence Pugh had posted a very powerful video on her Instagram account defending her relationship with Zach Braff because there's a little bit of an age difference. Right. And she just said, basically, I have no time for trolls and, you know, spread kindness and whatnot. And um, Ariana Grande commented on it and was like, you know, praising her for her honesty and yeah. supporting her and lifting her up. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't even realize these two were like seemingly friends. And now she's trying to dress like Florence's yeah. character, which is amazing, though. And, of course, Florence, she is like, mm -hmm. do it. She said, Halloween yeah. will never be the same, to which Ari noted, and this is hilarious, I was already planning to have it made anyway. Okay. Bye. Well, she uh, said that so many, Ariana Grande had, had said in one of those, I, there were so many different Instagram story back and forth, but she had said that so many people had texted her that it was up yeah. for auction. So there must be something really special about this dress. I mean, it's so extravagant and floral and, and whatnot that. Go. Yeah. You know, it 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 feels very Ariana, but it, well, and Ariana loves horror films. I mean, and yeah. she loves Halloween. Remember her epic Twilight Zone costume last year? Like yeah. she's already, I'm already thinking about my Halloween costume for next year, especially because I need something to look forward to by October. Are you about, like 2021. No, I am celebrating Halloween this year, even if it's in this apartment. I don't care. I literally will go trick or treating room to room here. <laughs> Won't take long, but it'll be a good time. I do want to. I want to highlight that there's other auction items, uh, which include the race car bed and a mm -hmm. jewel encrusted Furby from Uncut Gems, and also Rue's hoodie from Euphoria. So you can dress like Zendaya too from the. Jenny, film. one time I bid on a script signed by James Cameron for the Titanic script, like the actual script, oh. and it was not even expensive. It was only like a hundred dollars because it was a very small, intimate. Um, event that I was at and like the most random gifts up for auction to benefit a charity and someone outbid me by $20 and I was so pissed you know that's my favorite movie of all time oh. like I used to when I was younger I used to walk around with them um, a fake uh heart of the ocean diamond necklace like Celine Dion and I'd be like Nit! like yes. full on character <laughs> like I, so I understand why Ariana wants this damn dress so bad. It just it brings so much joy. <laughs> you love what you love. I literally rewatched that movie and you commented on my DM. You're like, you know how I feel about this. I was We're like, oh, passing, I know, I know. Passing the time, passing these quarantine days by watching three hour movies. <laughs> I, listen, what else am I gonna do? Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much, Cassie. That does it for ET Live. Ah. We're gonna sign off, but before we go, enjoy this little treat courtesy of Luna Legend, lip syncing and singing to a little Ariana Grande. Bye guys. Bye.